Here's my latest product, high resolution graphics board for the TRS-80 Model 4. It's based on the design of the original graphics solution board which hasn't been available since the 1980s. This one uh, uses the same architecture as the graphics solution board and reduced uh, the 10 memory chips down to one chip. It's completely compatible with the uh, graphic solution board and is just as easy to install. This is how you install the new graphic solution board on a Model 4 non gate array uh, motherboard. That's the early one sold from 1983 to 84. It has separate uh, floppy disk controller and serial controller, serial board. Uh, first thing you need to do is remove this jumper here marked E14 to E15 When the jumper is in place the graphics board is disabled The next thing I do is I take the test clip or the, the hook from the graphics solution board and hook it up to IC U13 pin 2 Just like that. Then I take our board and the connector here on the back needs to go onto this connector on the motherboard. And there you have it. Graphic solutions installed on the Model 4 non-gate array motherboard. Okay, and now this is how we install our graphic solution board onto the TRS-80 Model 4 uh, gate array computer. It's also the same as the Model 4D computer. Uh, these are later systems built from 1985 onwards and they have everything all in the one motherboard. So the first thing we need to do is remove the jumper on uh, J12. The jumper is between uh, pins 16 and 18 uh, which disables a graphic board since we're putting a graphic board in we remove the jumper and discard it our hook on the graphic solution board needs to connect to U11 pin 22 so we just hook that on there like so and then our uh, connector just goes on to this um, bus here like so and we are done graphic solution is installed onto the model 4 gate array or model 4d computer I'll come back in a moment to show you it running uh, some graphics Okay, so now that we've put our Model 4 back together, we're going to test um, some various software uh, just to see that the graphics board's working. First one I'm going to test is the graphics uh, disk that comes with the Model 3 high res board. Um, we'll just boot up our machine. has a simple uh, high resolution test program on there called HRG test it says test circle set XY and paint yeah there it goes Just watch it do a few of these things while we prepare for the next uh, disc to test. So that was the Model 3 um, version. So the graphics board I'm selling is compatible with the Model 3 board. 
the next one I'm going to try out is the Model 4 version of the high res software for the Model 4 high res graphics board. You can see it's starting to paint sections in, so it works pretty well. Okay, so now on to Model 4 version. So we'll load up basic high res graphics version. Okay, basic G version 1.01.00 for Tristos 6. We'll load uh, one of the programs that's supplied with the um, with the disk called 3D slash GRA. Run our program. This is just a simple demonstration of a of a bar graph. So we'll just put in some numbers. There you go, a typical bar chart from from the time. You know, the basic program's not perfect, but as you can see, the graphics worked fine. So those are the standard discs that came with Radio Shack's uh, um, high resolution graphics board. A uh, couple of other ones I'll put on. Dog Catcher is a game that I use to test these boards. It gives the, the boards a good workout. So there's our dog catcher game. The idea is that dog catcher runs around and tries to catch this dog before it ends up in the kennel. Let's give that one a go. Collect the bone. Here comes the dog catcher. And we're back in the kennel. So high resolution, working well as you would expect. And finally, something that's um, another common type of program that was popular with the high resolution boards Postmaster. By David P. Miller. Yep. Working perfectly. And we're done. Um, I'm setting up, or in the process of setting up a website with all uh, these programs available for download so that if you buy one of these boards and you know how to download software from my website and turn it into a um, physical disk, usually with a cat weasel or similar device, most people who are into old computers are happy to do that. Uh, you can download the software and use it straight away on your real TRS-80 with a high resolution graphics board. So thanks for watching, and if you're interested in one of these, drop me a line.